very good Duck Hunt players out there. I believe there's another one in, like, East Coast uh, Ozone. Ozone. I don't think Ozone's played in forever. Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember, like, all the, like, notable Duck Hunts, right? There's, there's not a ton of them. Right. And I don't think really anyone on the same level as Raito. So, of course, Leo being... You know, the best Leo, player in yeah. the world, he is MK Leo. We can't, like, really get past that when we're talking about analysis for a set. But at the end of the day, we'll see if Nintendo can can put on an, a, a show for us. All right. I feel like it'll also depend on what character Leo goes. Like, is Violet, he going to go with the Violet? Yeah. I mean, we love to see the Violet. You don't get to see a whole lot of top-level Violet player. I honestly think MK Leo is the best Violet. No, I am. All right. <laughs> All right. But... It's one of those things where MK Leo has so many little tricks and characters in his arsenal that it's just like, who does he feel like going like today? Yeah, it's it's either going to be the the Byleth right. or it's going to be the Pyre and Mithra. But uh, we talked about it a little bit last night. Leo is probably going to go mostly Byleth here. So starting it off, going to be going in Duck Hunt Byleth. This is a weird, weird matchup. Right. I mean, definitely Byleth has the range to kind of contest all of Nintendo stuff. But no, Duck Hunt is the trap-based character. He is the character that throws up. All the gunmen, all the discus throws, all the cans just to keep you away from him as much as possible. The thing Plus, is, though, that as soon as MK Leo gets in once, it's going to be very, very difficult for Nintendo to get out of that disadvantage state because Duck Hunt, not exactly the best character in disadvantage and also not exactly the best character in the Blast Zone. Right. I mean, that is such a very, very rare SD from Nintendo. I wonder if it's, you know, the tournament nerves getting to him going up against the number one player. There always are those nerves involved, but... While we have a little bit of downtime here in the, in this match, I'm gonna take a little minute to give chat some, some coaching advice. So when you play a top player, they are no longer a top player, chat. Play them exactly like you would play your roommate, your training partner, anyone else, because if you give them that respect, if you give them that fear factor, you are giving them a free advantage and likely a free win in the set. That's the real top player privilege, is being able to terrify players and there you go, Nintendo. a lot more confident offstage, getting that reversal and getting that first stock. And I know Nintendo loves to go for that can, especially when he's recovering, because he knows Duck Hunt does not have a hitbox when they're up. He has to protect himself with some sort of hitbox, and he is so good at maneuvering can to, you know, protect him and be aggressive with it as well. Right now, though, Leo working with a full stock lead, sends Nintendo offstage, goes way deep for that dare, too, but not able to find it. Sends offstage again, and he's trying to space with this, this nair and this dare, not really giving Nintendo a chance to touch onto the stage, but there's his opportunity landing with the nair, and now it's his turn to try and ledge, ca ledge trap Leo. Oh, gets a distance throw. Is he going to get the... Oh, I thought for sure he was going to try to go for the dare afterwards, but he opted to read the air dodge and go for forward smash. Gets hit by the bear. Not going to be enough to kill. But he needs to be careful here because that's exactly what Leo wanted. The explosion from the can did save him there, but that ledge grab with the uppie into immediate drop uh, turnaround uppie is so, so strong off stage. I really like that use of uppie there to send this uh, the can upwards and... A little bit of suspect DI, not on the uh, the tipper hitbox, but still the fair going to take it out. MK Leo going up 1-0. All right, and I mean, we see Nintendo kind of like shaking his head a little bit, knowing like, wow, that was such a bad start. I know I can do better. I know I can play better. And we saw it like he was bringing it back towards the second stock a little bit. So, you no, know, I'd like to see Nintendo, you know, be a little bit more confident in himself, you know, try to not give MK Leo the respect that he deserves in this particular match, right? Right, and it's, it's that same thing that we talked about. Like, sure, respect him as the number one, that's right. fine. But as soon as you pick up those sticks, he's just another opponent. Fight him like you would anyone else. Yeah, this is the Nintendo that I want to see, the one that gets to hit and is able to you know, keep you in disadvantage. This is what we want to see from Vinny. And I'm going to be completely honest. We've seen Leo fight Raito. That was almost two years ago at this point, and it also wasn't with Bioth. So I, I actually am finding myself wondering if Leo's ever played this matchup before. Lands with the fair. Yep. Chasing now with an air too, trying to catch Nintendo in an uncomfortable situation at the ledge where he can find a kill off of it and a good short hop dash attack to get away from the uh, the, the discus. And you know what, the thing about that discus, it is frame one. So it is such a hard projectile to contest with on the ground, but we see MK Lil just avoiding it beautifully by just short hopping over it and using his range to just punish Nintendo for it. This is a dangerous spot to be in though, tries to get the fair chase. Not gonna be able to find it, but both players safely finding their way back up onto the stage, but first stock goes to Nintendo with that down throw up air. Right, and there's that DI throw mix up, knowing that like, okay, he's probably gonna four throw me, but then knowing that down throw up air is a kill confirm if you DI in. 
Nair dash attack though to send him across the stage. Going to get the back throw here and going to try and chase it with arrow. Good air dodge from Nintendo though to escape from it. And that's something not a lot of people like understand or know. Violet has no kill throws, not even back throw. It won't kill until like 200. Oh, not going to be enough, and unfortunately, the Discus did not get out in time. Got beat out by the dash attack. And yeah, not going to be able to save him there, but the up smash, not going to connect either. A good tech onto the platform from Leo to stay safe. Uh, Faring right into that grab as well. Needs to be really careful on the ledge here. There we go. Oh my god, unfortunately rolls into it. Tries to throw out the Discus, but unfortunately gets hit before it could come out. Down tilt dash attack though, and going to be a down tilt upbeat. That's actually true on most characters. So the fact that Duck Hunt and Nintendo specifically is able to escape from it by use of that can, it's almost reminiscent to me of Snake Grenade popping him out of combos. Right, and we see him like trying to do the same thing with the Ziscus, but I don't know if it's just MK Leo facing his moves so incredibly, but he has not been able to get anything off of the Ziscus throw that I know that like he's known Ooh. for. Bouncing the can right back, not giving Nintendo the chance to do anything with it. Chasing with the down tilt, not finding it though. This is dead even right now. Both of these characters definitely at kill percent. Gets the F tilt, sends him off stage. Now going to be chasing again, but look, Layer's adapted. He's realized that going deep off stage is not really going to work. And a really good wave land onto the platform for the jump reset into the up air to take the stock. Right, gets in there, gets the grab punish, and gets the kill because he set the gunman ahead of time. Set up the gunman into the grab, so just made sure that Leo was held in place, unable to escape. Tries for the jab and actually finds it. Leo falling into it. All right. And I almost thought he would get a, a more insane punch because of the can hitbox too, but unfortunately, it kind of just sent Leo into a better position to punish him. And the crowd starting to get a little bit antsy. They're wondering if the hometown hero is able to upset the number one here. Right. Still a little bit left to go. Right, this is certainly is. a start. And the double, double frisbee throw right. into the up air. Takes it. Nintendo ties it up one to one. Right. And this is the Nintendo that we want to see. Now this is like Evo Nintendo where he got top 32 at that tournament. Like two, like Evo's years ago. Oh my God, it's been forever since Evo's been in person. Uh, it's been about three years. Three years, yeah. So, you know what? We're going to see staying with the Violet, even going to game three, you know? And you were talking about it like, you know, he may not have the matchup experience with this particular matchup with the Violet, but often to go for town, you know, maybe the, when the platforms go away, he can deal with the projectiles a little bit better. So I'm going to be completely real with you. Town is one of Violet's best stages. He, he slash she slash whatever kills stupid early on this stage with uh, with Tipper Bear and Tipper Fair. So that's definitely what Leo is going to be looking for, especially on a slightly lightweight character like Duck Hunt. Um, but already off, to, off the bat, Nintendo on a great start. And we see Nintendo just avoiding all of Byla's space aerials, you know? It's one of those things where Nintendo likes to set you up into certain positions, and now that I feel like he knows where Leo's going to land, he's able to get these insane punishes. He has the air dodge in order to avoid the down smash, but... This is going to be a big punish. Oh my god, that was such an amazing DI, because you know that could have killed him if he DI'd that poorly. Actually, that only hit him because he DI'd it poorly, but... The down smash from Nintendo takes first stock in the game, and Leo on the back foot, chasing with the tipper bear, going way off stage, trying to get the punish here. Not going to be able to do it. Nintendo gets on stage. No, maybe not. And I love that. The use of the can. Oh. No! Unfortunately, I ran out of gas. Thought he could air dodge to the ledge. Fortunately, one jump away, probably. Oh, using the grab invincibility there, too, to escape the can. Coming back to stage, but maybe not. Has already expanded his jump, so he's going to take big damage on this recovery. Here we go, gets in there, gets the downtown on the landing, but gets caught by the discus. Seal Yo. poke on the F smash as well. Chasing all the way off stage, going for the Nair. Oh. Almost popped up into that bear though. That would have killed for certain. Tries for the dare as well. Leo trying to recoup lost percent here, and he pancakes underneath the F, uh, the, the grab, excuse me. Here we go, catches the jump with the gunman, using the can as a anti-air tool almost right there. It's, it's definitely like determining how Leo can land, but Chasing with the neutral B, going to get the arrow shot to take the stock off, and Leo's found his footing yet again, takes the lead, but it's a very shaky right. one at the moment. All right, I mean, any of these explosions could be the stock, and, you know, Nintendo is almost there. He just needs, like, one solid hit. Gets the grab into the fourth row, using the can almost as, like, a potential, like, edge guard. Gets a gas yes, tilt. Yep. That sliding F tilt there, going to be able to take out the stock. 25% extra credit on MK Leo. Gets the up tilt as well, now chasing with the Nair. Sends him to the ledge, this is going to be tough, but that frame one throw yet again has been keeping him so safe, doing so much work. 
Flail with the fair though, going to chase off stage, goes for the tether no. cancel and connects with the tipper bear. So Leo, despite looking a little bit shaky, is going to be able to clutch up, clutch out and take down Nintendo to move on to one. And you saw him, you tried to throw out the can in order to you know, keep him safe. And unfortunately it came out.